Hi everyone, it's Nono here, and this video is a continuation of the series with Laravel, how to create your own application, how to create your own commands, how to serve your apps, and many other things that you should check out on my Laravel playlist. This video specifically talks about how to parse CSV data, in this case from Google Forms, with Laravel. So we're going to create a command in Laravel that is going to read a CSV that we've downloaded from Google Forms, where we gather data from a server from many different participants, and we're going to read it in Laravel. So we'll the contents of the file, we'll parse the CSV into PHP data, and then we'll do something with it to populate a database. All right, let's get started. We have an application here at Laravel which already had some commands, but we're going to override them. If you don't know anything about Laravel command, please go back to my video on how to create your own custom Laravel commands, and you'll understand what's in here. So for now, I'm going to remove all of this, just leave a scaffold of a new command. So we're just going to create here a command that is going to be, let's call it CSV, that is easier to read. And then we'll put here the, the path of the file. And then we'll have a function that gets that parameter, that path. And the purpose is to read or like import Google form responses CSV file import csv maybe better we're going to clean this up so we're going to leave our console.php file pretty clean and then inside here we'll just do print a message that will say importing and the name of this or the path of this file so just to test that works right now it's not going to do anything we're just going to make sure the application and we're going to do php artisan import csv and then my path could be for example users not on desktop file.csv and we'll just get a message saying we're importing this file. Nothing has been done yet, but we're going to get started with that. So now we have the scaffolding code of our command, right? Now we need to pseudocode this. So first here we're saying print that we're importing, right? So that's the first thing we're doing. So now what we need to do is read contents of file. Let's so again parse the CSV contents and then display the data, format data, and store data on our database. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Google Forms page. So that's at forms.google.com. It will take us to this URL. And I already have this sample sign up for. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be filling in this survey with you to make sure that you understand the process that I'm following. I've created a custom form using the Google form editor. We can click here and edit this form. At the bottom, you can see that if I'm the author of this form, we'll get this button at the bottom. This is gonna allow us to edit the form. If we click there, we're gonna go here where we can change the name of the parameters and we can change specific things or we can also add new fields. So for example, I could add a new field and we have a question, what's your favorite food for instance? And then it's just a short answer. But we could also do like multiple choice or check boxes. So for example, we could do what color do you prefer? And we could do here like red, or green. And after we do this, we can go back to our form update. And now we have that as a selectable, something that we can put here, for example, that. So I'm going to go back and leave the form as it initially was. I'm going to click here and I'm going to delete this field and we're going to go back to our form. Cool. So we're going to fill in this form. So we're going to put here for example, Lex Friedman, maybe, and we'll put a location, let's say Cambridge, Massachusetts, if it's MIT, maybe we can grab a bio. So we'll just grab a bio from here. We'll add it here and this would make it for the short bio. So we'll do here Lex Friedman, we'll get this profile pic and the file we'll put on here and we'll upload. And for links, we'll put here LexFriedman.com and Lex Friedman dot com slash podcast. So we submit that. And once that's submitted, then we'll get a notification on our email saying somebody filled in your uh, survey. Now you can see their responses. So now I come here on this form. And if I go to responses, I can see two different uh, responses, the one I did and the one that I did for Lex Friedman, right? If we go to individual, we can see each individual response, one out of two and two out of two. Lex Friedman, no, no, Martin, All right. So here, what you will do is that you will come here 
So let's see again. So we have this page with our form and we'll come here to these three and we download the responses as a CSV, right? That's the format we want is comma separated values. I can then open this on Visual Studio Code or actually I could visualize it with a finder. So you can see that the information is actually like an Excel sheet. So it has the name of the cells at the top, the headers, and then it has the, the different values. And if we go here, we see the timestamp, your name, your location and bio. And if we go to the Visual Studio Code file, we just have comma separated value. This is one value and there's a comma and blah, blah, blah. So the first row, we see there are three rows. The first row represents the header, the and then subsequent rows represent the, the values, right? So nobody is telling us that we could not just add one new row here and say like sample John Boston. Now, even when we preview this here, the header has changed and I've added a new row here. We're going to leave it as it was. So we're just going to put this as it was. This is the original file. And now we have our file. So we're going to put this file on the desktop and we're going to rename it. So this is like my form.csv, for example. And then we can do PHP artisan import CSV. And then we'll do users, no, no, desktop form.csv. That's the command that we're going to be running. And the first thing we could do, let's try to see if the file exists. I think we can can do that so file or let's actually do file get so we do file get path we say that these are my contents and I think we can print the the contents of the file so we do that yeah so we're reading the contents of this file with this line so we do file get path and that stores on the contents variable and then with this info contents we're printing them to the console so we already have the the contents of the file now we need to parse them into a php object from those comma separated values and the cool thing is that we'll be able to later replace the form.cfb file and have this application work the same way so let's see what this does so if we and we do string get csb contents let's just try that out if we quickly go to use something called tinker where we can use a dynamic repl of laravel so i'm gonna do here tinker so we have and, and this so you see is this command so php artisan tinker we open a repl of php where we can do things like just run execute php code and then get something returned there is this i think this command right if we do one two three if we do comma separated values with this one it just gives us the actual values so the different values on the csv and if we do dump we actually see that those are indexed it's just an array so what we can do with this function is that for each line of our csv so for example if we had the headers name location and image or something then we'll be able to get those and then for values of a person so for example no no and then no the jpeg or something we would be able to also get that and we know that we dump both of them this one that will be 012 will match with 012 of name location and image so we do file get and then we get our file that is on the desktop and it's called form.csv so that would be the first thing that's our file now we'd say okay that's my contents of the file so now we have to use for example the explode function and then run it on the contents and now what we see is that we get one item on the array per line in our csv file so this is good if we do this we'll say lines explode and then we have the lines so for example you could say okay give me the first line and actually get the csv of that first line and then of the second and then of the third and for each of the values we have the matching property so we have the the contents and what we want to do now is the lines so we do explode by line our contents and then for each lines as line we'll dump the string get csb line all right so we don't need this anymore and this would be like maybe this info and then we can say line i and we can do i equals zero i plus plus we close that here so let's run this let's run our command on the csv so now we have here line zero it's our headers from zero to six line one is the first 
participant and then line two is the second participant and if we had more on our google forms we would be able to also read their information which we do we download the responses we get this file we get the form and then we put it on desktop we replace it and now really instantly if i rerun the last person is sajay right sajay is an architect hi no no i'm an architect and a consultant awesome and we have even an image awesome sajay kumarji this is pretty cool now we have access to everyone's images so for example we see the summary we have access to all of the images here only me because i'm one of the owners and editors of the form it's not everyone who's going to be having access to these resources that would be a breach of confidentiality all right so we're going to keep going with the code we said here that we wanted to parse the the csv contents which seems to be what we are doing here read contents of file and parse csv so we do this so let, let's do here maybe parse csv lines awesome so we now have that we display the data with this dump and now we need to format it we just have the indices so i guess that we could hard code it for now so if we print that again like we know that these indices are here we could probably just hard code them for now we don't really need to to do anything more fancy so we're going to comment that out we're going to edit and we're going to just do this all right this is our data and what we could actually do is go per line and do something a bit cooler which is like we said before display data and we're going to do that here and now what we could do is that if i is uh, zero let's just do this okay for now we get line one line two and one three and what we can do now because we know what's on each of these things we could say info and now do line one so we get the names only cool all right so line these are the different for so values right so our values are going to be a string get csv from the line and what we'll get is from the values number one is the name all right so we got that working we don't need this thing so we'll just do that put clear here great so now we're importing and maybe we can make this a comment so it's a different color so now we're importing here different participants and we could for instance just plot their location next to their names and that's it values and then we see here location is two and that's it so this gets us going we can already do something with this and now we need to store data on our database this covers how to parse your csv data from google forms or really from any source with laravel we've loaded the file we've divided it in lines with php functions and then we've parsed every single line as a csv and then we have the individual values of each of the participants that submitted information to this form and then we downloaded that file as a csv on the next video we're going to see how to use that information to populate a database or to create items on a database with laravel and later on in another video we'll see how to display that visually on a website thanks a lot for watching i'll see you next time and hopefully you keep going with this list and let me know what you think about it